everybody. Um, this is a quick Zach Smith Photography Workshops and How To Tuesday tutorial on compositing. So you've heard it as maybe HDR or High Dynamic Range Photography or compositing which is mostly done in post but you can also do HDR in post. Uh, I'm going to do a quick two image composite from two exposures that I shot at the Crescent Park Sunrise, as you can see here, and Sunset Photography Workshop that we did last week. It was an amazing time. Thanks for all those who came out. Uh, we'll be posting some images shortly on a new Facebook page. But I wanted to show you guys one really quick way to make a composite photograph using two exposures in Lightroom. As you can see, there are two exposures here. So let's go ahead and press 6 to color that red, that to color that red. That way we can mark them later on when we're looking around our images, we can find out which two images were used for the composite by just going up to the attribute and clicking uh, one of the colors. So there we go. Um, as you can see, let's get these full screen by going here. As you can see, we have one exposure that is exposed for the midtones and shadows, and one for the highlights. As you see, the image really changes not only in exposure, but also in the, the way the sun is represented. So if we look at our shot that exposes for the highlights, meaning the clouds and the sun, you get this nice little band of orange right here, and you can always glance over here and see my settings. ISO 100, keeping the ISO low. I'm at 27 millimeters on a full frame lens, so that's my 17 to 40. F4 at 1 80th of a second. Okay, and let's go over to the next shot. And I wanted to grab that nice starburst effect without a filter. We can do that. We set our apertures small like that. Very small opening. Maximum extended depth of field at f22. I'm still at the same focal length because I want to get the same exact composition. So my exposures can change. But my composition cannot. I want to get the same shot. The only thing that might change is maybe a boat that's moving or the clouds. If I chose to photograph the next composition later on, but this was right next to each other. So what we're going to do is go back to the grid by pressing G. We can select both of these images and we are going to, I just press, the, I have a, a trackpad right here on my Mac and I press the two fingers or you can right click right there and I'm going to photo merge HDR. This is, again, a very easy way to do this. And right here, we can choose different deghosting. I'll have more of that later in another uh, tutorial. That might take a little too long. So let's just say none. And we want to keep this here, auto-align, if our compositions were a little different, and auto-tone. Let's merge those two. What it's going to do is it's going to create an image right next to it as a DNG. That way we can go over to our develop module and make any changes that we want still in the non-destructive uh, format. Uh, we can adjust our, uh, our horizon there. Always click the profile corrections. But let's go to our basic and maybe even, you know, use our graduated filter right there to match things up. Maybe create a new one coming from the bottom. In order to match that up a little bit, I might even bring that exposure down a little bit on the corners. I want it to look real. I don't want to give it a sense of 
the high, dyna high dynamic range stuff that I've been seeing everywhere. I want it to look real. What I love is this perfect combination of the sky and the foreground with that starburst sun that I love so much that I got, but only at one exposure. So I kind of have the best of both worlds here. So maybe I can take my adjustment brush and dial in those clouds a little bit, add a little bit of contrast or clarity there. Um, and I might want to do a little bit of um, maybe a little post-crop vignetting right here around the corners just to bring it in a little bit. Uh, let's go back to our crop. The things are looking pretty good. Uh, and that, again, that is just an easy way. Sharpen this a little bit. What's that boat way over there? Looks like it captured that really well. There's a Chalmette refinery way in the distance. Love the clarity on that wide angle. And there we go. That's pretty good stuff. I think that would make a great print. So right there we have our very easy two image merge by in Lightroom. Really easy. And I hope you enjoyed that. From there, the DNG, we can always export as a JPEG, as a uh, low res with watermark. These are all user presets that we created right here. But hope you enjoyed that. And again, you could merge two, three images if you want. But that's a quick, easy way to do a photo merge composite in Lightroom. There's so many other techniques that you can use in Photoshop and Lightroom, and that will go over one of these days soon, but I hope you enjoyed it. Oh, stay tuned. Each week we have new workshops coming out for the winter and spring 2017, as well as pop-up workshops, photo meets, and seminars. Thanks. Visit ZachSmith.com. Visit the blog.